If you're a fucking fair dinkum fucking full grown Aussie, this is what you'd have for breakfast, you fucking dog cunts. A fucking VB long neck at 20 to 8 in the fucking morning. Get that up, ya. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking know it. I want to party with that guy so hard. <laughs> so hard. So hard. I touch it for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah Welcome back To the Gentleman's Den Jeff, Frankie, Sean We're in the middle of a pandemic boys oh, We're all gonna die oh, Eventually that, that is true Yeah <laughs> we're, all, PSA. we're all gonna die See? We're all <laughs> In all honesty <laughs> And we are all going to die. It's Why just is a that, matter of time. What movie is that from? It's Dragon Dragon. Well, we're all going to die. We're all going to die. Well, maybe we should have figured this out before we started the well, podcast. You didn't say it. I didn't know we were going to have a, a thinking fucked. exercise right off the bat. <laughs> Whoa. Fuck. I'm not going to be able Look to Look at my drink. It. It's blue? It's from Boston. You know what it's called? Wicked blue. <laughs> Stop it. Wicked blue. <laughs> Wicked blue citrus. It's got oh, a smart, tastes like smart pot. Shit. <laughs> Smart pock his drink right in his lips. Look at him chug. I could hear him chugging. Jesus, slow down there. There's a flavor. Hey, that's uh that's there you go, PSA. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, everyone. All right. So uh no sports. <laughs> Fuck man, it's like the worst Bruh. thing. The best memes that are coming out. About the husbands who <laughs> find <laughs> shit out about their wives now that there's no sports. See, the find out my wife. He has a wife. Yeah. <laughs> she was just sitting there on the couch. She's a super nice lady. <laughs> it's it's crazy, man. Found They're, out my wife likes the color yellow. Who the fuck likes yellow? It's yellow. <laughs> it's not a good color to like. It's weird. It's, that's got to suck for the XFL, being a brand that just starts and you're already shut down. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, I just watched fights tonight that had... No one in the stands. You want to talk about weird? You know, normally... What like, are you fighting for? Who's cheering you on? It's the, uh, you know, when the announcer does this thing and they're like, you know, Charles Oliveira. And How pumped was he? Everybody's like, ah, he called his name. And he's like... Yeah. yeah. It's, well, it's, Woo. What are you supposed to do? You know it's what I mean? It's got to be hard, though. Yeah, it's got to be. How many times do you see when the fight's getting stale and they're not exchanging or anything? And then next thing you know, they're like... Let's go, boo! You know what I mean? Then all of a sudden, whap, 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 and it gets going. <laughs> the referees were hilarious because you hear the refs talking now. Yeah. So it's like, come on. Well, come you on. could probably really hear the corner, go. right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go. Get him, Johnny. But watch the our left. Attack, Wait, Johnny. You, you, Sweep the leg. You also heard the crack the more. Oh, like, yeah, the, the crack. The smack <laughs> of the glove yeah. and shit. Did you see, uh, I don't even remember her name. Jochechek, John Jun Jechek, her fucking head. Yeah, she looked like Mega Mind. Oh, I did see that Ooh, picture. Crazy dude. So uh, she had what a hema. She had a hematoma on her forehead. God, we need the nurse in here. Uh, it just, where's where's my nurse? It just it spread. <laughs> dude, I saw a picture of her now. Here. Yeah, like she put up a picture, but she's wearing sunglasses and shit. She looks like the Ultimate Warrior paint. Like oh, the oh, yeah. bruising is all Fuck, the way down dude, her face. That was crazy. Yeah, and the and the girl she fought's face was all fucked up too. I mean, Scotty Pippen. I mean, that was like the biggest hematoma I saw before. Well, I saw. There Remember was, when he got elbowed and he had that mm, big bump? The knot. Better not mention that again. Mm. Well, that was a uh, the the worst the worst one before Joanna's was a dude named Mark Hominick who uh. who took a. Jose <laughs> Jose Aldo shin off his fucking. forehead, and it just fucking you watched it grow, uh, and then he'd get hitting it, <laughs> he'd get hitting it, and it would dissipate and then fill back up. Yeah, just like Joanna. If you so watch, did you see it with your eye when you hit your eye with the baseball bat? Did I see did, what? Like, did you see the shit? I my my eye swelled shut. Oh, see, I hit my head right above my eye. I was playing football at a buddy's house, and I fell on a horseshoe spike, and it, <laughs> it hit me right at the top of the eye. Another injury would have been bad. Oh, yeah. It was like a cartoon where it stuck out like this, and I could see it, and well, I could just think of it. Just dang it. <laughs> when, my, when my eye swelled up, it swelled flat. So, like, it was my cheek my and my eye just were flat. 
just together. Nose. They're yeah. kissing each other. Kissing. So I throw an ice pack on it, and obviously the <laughs> swelling goes down. And then an hour later, like if I went to work the next day, so I was by the grill in the heat. Yeah. My eye just fucking closed. Swelled <laughs> back up. I'm just like, God damn it. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah, it's That's good gross. times. That's Smack gross. yourself in the head Dude, with a bat. Dude, it is I crazy. Your face is okay. This 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 whole thing worries me for when something like actually happens. Like, like what? Like a real like I seen a great meme that said this is why the people are fighting over toilet paper and shit and said this is why the government won't tell us about the aliens. <laughs> Cause if there was some real shit that fucking 100%. happened, this yeah. is fucking crazy. We lose our minds. People are fighting over shit punching tickets. old ladies in the face over for shit toilet tickets. paper. Over shit tickets. There is so much more important you, shit. You've never heard of a sock? Dude, I have Dago T's <laughs> up the yin-yang. I can just cut those bitches up. I'm good. So what are you going to do with them, though? Wash them. But like I, <laughs> like, I, like I said, if you're, out of fucking, if you're out of toilet paper, shit, hop in the shower, wash your ass, yeah, call it a day. I feel like there's a lot of people that have that luxury where you have a shitter next to a shower. Normally, yeah, it's yeah. called a bathroom. Yeah. I'm just saying, I, I get it. Like that is a bad thing. And stuff. I have a bucket, and I, I did do a lot of shopping and got a lot of food and stuff. And like, cause I don't plan on going out during all this craziness for the next three weeks. But I don't have any toilet paper because all these motherfuckers out here are buying it up. You like need to get a crack. separate bucket so you dip your ass like a chicken nugget. <laughs> or what? <laughs> yeah, you just I'm not fill a bucket up. Dump in my you ass. fill a bucket up full of water. No. And you just. Slightly dip. No, I feel like there's going to be more ideas like this that people are going to be even less sanitary. Or not a sponsor, but you go to like hellotushy.com, which is a portable, hey, which is a portable nah, bidet. You, you know what I'm going to throw out there? Put on I don't know if I'm I don't think you have to say not a sponsor. Dude yeah. wipes. Not a sponsor, but cool fucking place, right? Dude wipes. Dude Chicago. wipes are sold out too. No, they're not. Yeah. Every no, ass they're product not. Are they known really? to man. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Anything you wipe your ass with is sold out. I found baby wipes at the right, fucking well, on, gas station. I almost shit. picked them up just in case. There, there's See, that's a dick move, though, because people got babies. Right, yeah. you need it. Yeah, right? well, 40 Survival bucks. Survival of the fittest, motherfucker. That's fucking crazy, no, It's dude. crazy, It's though. sad. It's sick. Amazon I am has disgusted. drivers that are sick. They, they have said that they've had drivers that have tested positive already. Amazon is delivering, like, 80% of the shit in the world. Bruh. I'm just saying, like, people that are, are, are ordering stuff off of Amazon, wipes or toilet paper, hand yeah. sanitizer, all this stuff, it's still someone in the public who's acceptable to this disease delivering your package. It's 12 hours. 12 hours what? It lives for 12 hours. On services, correct. Yeah. So Right. If so some if beat off coughs on it as he's delivering the package on my doorstep and rings my doorbell and runs away. When I open it, it's not going to be 12 hours later. Well, that's why you sprayed the bot- you spray the Lysol on the box. Then what Lysol? Knows. There was Lysol at the store you went to. <laughs> Just say it. It is crazy. You I, ain't got Lysol in your house. I'm not that like you said. I don't think anyone in this room is that scared for ourselves. No. More scared for family. Yeah. yeah. Like our parents. L- parents, kids, you kids know, are respiratory, respiratory issues. issues. That could be a serious thing. My father coming has cancer still. Just came off of a year of chemo and radiation. His immune system isn't very good. Something like this could be fatal to someone like that. Oh, 100%. So that's where we, I mean, us as individuals don't have to worry about it and be like, I'll be okay. You know what? My immune system sucks. I don't know if I'd beat it either. Well, even if you don't, overweight. (laughs) Even if you don't, maybe believe, yeah, well, you should still, like, I'm not going to get it. But I'm still gonna take precautions so, so your that family don't. Yes, so that I, I don't that's affect I'm other people or people other people are aren't looking affected at me like by I'm me. A fucking crazy person, like yeah. dudes coughing at me at work. Oh, well, your like, dad told you you fucking doomsday prepping. Right, buying all the ammo. Simple. Wash your fucking hands. Don't touch ammo, your fucking water, face. Food. We're good. Call it a day. Except shit tickets. I got no toilet paper. Is that why you're staying here this weekend? Ammo. I'm, like, bro. I'm, I'm brewing something fierce before I leave. I'm <laughs> dropping it off. I know you got good toilet paper here. <laughs> Is that how your dad sent you over here for? You go over there, take a shit. I'm gonna tell you right now. See st- how many roll, extra rolls he's got. They got a straggler roll. I'll give you. I'll give you a roll of toilet paper, but you got how get much? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. It's a double roll. I'm rich and single, bro. I got twenty bucks. Did you sign one on Facebook Marketplace just for fun? And someone, they're literally selling a roll for a hundred dollars. 
Gently, but now hold on. What was gently, gently use. Gently use toilet paper. Two dollars a sheet. Which means someone either blew their nose or gently used. Gave it a I fuck don't it. know what the fuck that means. Shut the fuck up. That's a thing. But Donnie yeah. said gently used is a term in the toilet paper community for for yellow. Fully used is brown paper. So it's just got the yellow on it. So, so ladies used it to wipe their fajinas. This is this is a sick world we live in. I'm Zavision. sorry. <laughs> no, what, what the, the I'm gonna sick, go back to VR and just live there. The it's thing, the you thing that there? is driving me nuts about this. Are we going there later? Oh, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll the thing there. that's driving you don't me need nuts toilet paper in virtual reality. Just driving me nuts about this fucking whole situation is the fact that the coronavirus has nothing to do with shitting. Yeah, but that's the thing that blew my mind. So. When I went to Walmart, <laughs> to, uh, we just did, you know, regular grocery shopping. And, yeah. you know, just in case, I do want to have some stuff. Yeah. So we go there, and, like, all the toilet paper is gone. But yet there's still, like, bread, meat, all this other shit. So I'm just like, wh- who the fuck savages the, the toilet paper? Supply and demand. Bro. No bullshit, though. Let's Hand sanitizer someone. and toilet paper sold shit out. Gone. What if, like, the first person that heard this? Went and bought a shit ton, right? They bought a shit literally. ton. Literally. A shit ton. <laughs> shit ton and, of uh, toilet paper. And, and let's just say they are selling it for $100 a roll. Well, they're, they're, they're beating the market. They're cornering the market. Yeah. 50 a roll. Financing 50 a roll. available. How much money, though, if this guy went and spent $500 and bought as much as he could, and now he is selling it online on let go. That's why I've lost faith in humanity. Right. You're going to go there, buy everything they got, and then you're going to quadruple the fucking price to maybe a family. You know, you got five fucking kids running around your house. You need okay. toilet paper. Let me let me ask a question because I'm, sing- I'm single. Yes. I, a fucking four-pack of toilet paper lasts me two months. I what? shit at work. Depends, bro. <laughs> I shit at work. I've used their toilet paper. I do, I do the actual saying. I, I wake up in the night. I shit, shower, shave. One of the boys clogs the toilet every time he shits. Because he uses and so much toilet paper. And not from his shit. Because he uses so much goddamn toilet paper. And I told <laughs> him, we are having a toilet. red alert. All right? <laughs> what I'm going to do is when he goes to shit, I'm going to take it out of there. And then when he said he's ready, I'm just going to hand him strips through the door. Here, you only get 36 in all hours. <laughs> in all hours. Use them nicely. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting till I have to take two-ply... And tear them apart. An empty roll and make one ply. Stop it, no. dude. There is a fucking stink bug in the uh, bathroom. So then they call me in there to come and and, and get it. I'm like, oh god, all right. So I go in there. This kid's got half the roll wrapped around his hand, and then the other twin has um, the <laughs> to- the toilet seat covered in toilet paper, so that when they throw it in, in case it hits the toilet seat, it doesn't get. The buzz on get, the side? Yeah, yeah, so that it, the stink doesn't get on the seat. I'm like, what the fuck is going on in here? That's too much. That's it's over too much. That's Bro, I'm telling you, man. Is that when they were, you were talking about the bunchers? Oh, well, the I asked bunchers? them, yeah. I, I said, because the one uses so much toilet paper. I'm like, do you bunch? No. I'm like, you're a buncher, aren't you? I can tell. Don't lie to me. I can see in your eyes you bunch your toilet paper. You buncher. <laughs> you're a little buncher. I knew it. It's either a roll or it's a wad. Right. He's, yeah, that's the bunch. The yeah. wad is the bunch. I was a buncher for a long time until I learned the ways. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm like... How so old were you when you learned how to wipe your ass? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was pretty fucking old. I'm not going to lie. It's the surface I, area, man. I bunched. Oh, I probably, fuck it, eh? I probably bunched till I was like 22. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the way. I didn't know how. <laughs> well, that's that's the, that's always the question, too, is are you a back to front or a front to back? Oh, uh, What? I mean, wiping. <laughs> what? Are these real questions? All right. Real questions. No, you can't go back. Back to what? front, then you get your pussy covered in shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't I hear, I hear like debates on this all the time on like proper etiquette. There's no proper, debate. Why? It's fucking <laughs> front to back. What are, you, what are you talking about? How is there a debate? <laughs> so How is that a question? There, there was an old joke, and it was a guy who said, "I went down on a girl, and I found out she 
<laughs> the hard way, she might back to front. Oh, oh no! God. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's when you. That's when you. Dude, are you all good with the gag reflex no. today? Are you? Do you got the flu? I've, dude, I've, I've, had, I've had flu? Corona since. C, uh, let's go. Uh, C two E two. I'm glad we got that in. Yeah, <laughs> because right? that wouldn't be happening. No, that was the last, it was the that beginning. Was the last convention. I know at the, the convention. At, they yeah, the they haven't done anything there since then. Nope. Yep. So. Shut down. Shut it down. Corona it was, was the here. beginning of the end. You mad? I'm just saying, man. It, it is scary. Be safe. You know. But it, it, yeah, it, just it's, take just take precautions. Don't right. get fucking crazy. Yeah, like Sean it, said, wash your hands, wash your ass. I want that order, you know, debate. the other order. Like, does everyone know in the world? I feel like now we got to let people know. Like, when you shower, I heard people wash their hair, like, after they wash their body. And it's like, wait, what? After? After. You're going to tell me you're going to wash your body and then you're going to wash your hair and your face? And you're going to let all that grease and sweat from your head and your hair go yeah, back no. down your fucking body? I'm so gonna I'm tell saying. You, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to tell you how I do it. Put the shampoo in my hair. There we go. Hold on, let me close my put eyes. Put the shampoo. Make sure you make it in the shower. <laughs> All the, right, go ahead. Put the Sean, shampoo. I got you. Shampoo in my beard. Mm. Shampoo in my hair. Body wash. I mm-hmm. soap completely up and then rinse Ooh, off. The sud bubbles. Then it's all off at once. The so yeah, suds. I'm there with you, but I, I get from the head first. All this done. Yeah, the head. You, know start, you start with the head, and then, then work I your rinse way that down. off, and, and then from there, I one eye at the whole time. I'll work my way down. So I'm saying, like, some people are like, don't you don't reuse towels? And I'm like, what? No. What do you mean? You, I, I, dude, I reuse towels see? all the time. Uh, Me and I'm, my lady do. Yeah. I'm a big, I'm, a, I'm all up in there drying my ass crack. What? When I'm done with it. Yeah. That's the last thing I'm doing. <laughs> I get out the shower. How many, how many towels do you go through a week then? So seven towels a week you go through? I don't know. I got a fucking whole how far goddamn do you, pantry of What it. do you mean? You're like wiping your ass with the towel? So you're, you like spread the cheeks and. <laughs> no, I, I make sure I'm dry. Yeah. Wait. So I, what do you do with the towel? You throw it in a, it's called dirty hamper. You got one of those? So every yeah, but my shower, body's, my, I'll never be cleaner besides that moment right there. So every shower, as soon as I step out, agreed. So every shower, you use a new towel. Yeah. I mean, my lady. How much laundry soap do you fucking go through in your house a week? I don't know. Isn't a big one supposed to last you a month? That's. I feel like I do my laundry. Dude, I do my laundry once a week. I do my laundry twice a week because I only have three work shirts. What's your big fear? Of what? Using the towel again? Yeah, using the same towel. So, like I said, the whole thing about that is... See, my lady usually showers before me, so then I don't... I mean, she doesn't have to, like... Right, so, all right, let me just... Let me set the scene for you real quick, real quick, real quick. Set the scene. Let me close my eyes again. Picture you in the shower. Your your lady gets in the shower. She she gets all done. Oh, God. Hold on. She steps out. Hold on. I'm going to have to Keep it easy. (laughs) So... So she gets out of the shower and she's drying herself off. Oh, she yeah. starts. She's I see it. Hair face mm-hmm. goes down to her chestises and down to her mm. belly and then her legs and then she gets in there. Yep. She does her butt and her crotch. And her beaver. Right. And then she yep. hangs it up. And then you get in the shower. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna get out of the shower. The first thing you're gonna do is gonna grab that ass beaver towel. You're gonna <laughs> grab it. You're gonna put your face right in and start drying it. Just. You know I've gone down on her before, right? Have you? Yeah. She says you haven't. I have. A- 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 one and, time. And, and it's not after she's got out of the shower. It's like a long, all day. Mm. Yeah. Like when all she right. just got back from the gym. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hello, Touché. But sometimes in the heat of the moment, you can go ass them out. That's how you get the best of both, you know? <laughs> Free sniffs, just like fucking Jimmy John. I'm just saying, <laughs> if I could prevent putting an ass towel in my it face. Smells are free. I'm 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 gonna prevent it. What if then? So then, what if one of the boys went and did that, and then they just got out and boys wiped have their, their own ass. towels. Well, we reuse towels in this house. What are you talking about? You don't use the no, same the kids, the, the kids person don't. towel. All right, well, that's what I'm saying. The kids I use don't reuse one towels. Towel. Me and my lady reuse towels. After two, though, it's gone. You guys shower together once in a while. Yeah. Save water. Stop being assholes. All right. Uh, in all honesty, I use my towel for a week. She wanted to have sh- uh, Wake shower, up in the morning, shower, shower sex the other day, but I was yeah, like, I don't, I don't have know. insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had a you bad been, accident you, you in the shower. Insurance I too slid. Bad. You know that little bench? Yeah. Well, we tried. Little bench. We tried a little sex move in there, and I slid right off the bench, <laughs> right on my back. I just rolled it. I said, yeah, baby, this ain't going to work. I don't think I've ever seen your little bench in your <laughs> shower or whatever. You know how you have, like, a little thing in the corner where you can put your oh, okay, your yeah. stuff on? But we have, like, two of them. You can, you can sit there. It's enough room to sit. 
So I sat down. It's their, their they have a tub. The I was tub ready for a little in, has it in shower there. and a show. But yeah, I slid right off, <laughs> scraped the fuck out of my back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try to make like, some sweet she's love. She's looking at him on the floor. He's like this. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, we're like, trying oh, to make like, some sweet love down. in here. I am <laughs> fucking naked. <laughs> <laughs> naked on oh, my back. Naked, <laughs> naked, rock hard. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I like, never yeah, looked hotter. Now. Fucking. <laughs> God. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> hashtag you know your old when. <laughs> yeah, you can't fuck in the shower no more. No, it's too slippery. You gotta get your shit together. Uh, just get, like some I old to people see bars it. to hold on to. Oh, it so we do. You do, and you still slipped and fell. Well, I couldn't reach the bar. <laughs> I got to honey, bro. Just reach out. I tried to get to the end. It, it was, was like you know when you're trying. It's, it's like, like the opening scene from Cliffhanger. Where it's just, it's just, <laughs> well, when you're trying a different sex mission, you're like, oh, in your head, it like sounds amazing. Yeah, like, you're gonna do it exactly how they do it in the video, and it just and then totally your goes. Locks up and it <laughs> totally goes awry. It doesn't feel right it's all awkward like, and you just look at each other you're like yeah let's let's just go back to missionary <laughs> i feel like a cramp in the hamstring yeah, during uh, ham, is uh, ham ham one of the, like the worst because like <laughs> you try to push through it so bad sometimes and it's like i got this oh fuck i can't oh, take it anymore or a groin cramp <laughs> or gro- yes <laughs> like especially like when you get one of like the lower abdomen yeah. did, like Oh god! And you gotta do that, babe. I just gotta lay down. No, no, you, you go on top. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing all the work. It's time for you to get to Cram. get to work. But it's like a blessing and a curse because you're like, oh, I'm not. I know I'm not gonna come till this pain goes away. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I can come. My hamstrings. Just over there. I'm just gonna like, ride this. Like, like, yeah. I, can, I can deal with this pain for like two Jeff. minutes. Jeff, I'm gonna double my time today. Jeff, Jeff. Goes and pulls a hamstring every time before he falls. <laughs> you see, Jeff runs up and down the stairs. <laughs> like, oh, fuck. You ain't even gonna stretch. What's up, bro? It looks like you and your lady uh, got it on, huh? Yeah, my hamstring. Oh, I'm holding bro. it again. Blew my hamstring out. Kick him in the work. My girl. Lasted 90 seconds this time. Jeff called in again. He was fucking last night. <laughs> <night. laughs> Jeff came in with an he ice pack on both his hamstrings. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Fuck, see, I think we all got the corona. We're Looking all like over, one of those old... All over the room. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Oh, Sorry. God. Sorry. I gotta I you up, gotta bro. find it. <laughs> I found this magical freestyle. We were all over the room. Oh, I'm my God. We, this podcast has been all over the room. The it corona. Has. The corona. See, I feel... All over the room. Helium balloons. <laughs> Helium yeah. balloons. By the way, <laughs> you sent me the Jinko thing when I told you how much they yeah, were. Yeah, you, yeah, you did. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll give you that. You were the first one to say it. Did you, you, did, you, did you like the uh, beautiful oh. brown eyes? <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Beautiful. I got hey, the beautiful brown eyes. When did you fucking send that video? Bro. I don't know. Long time. Oh, there it is right there. there. there I'm there. going to uh, make some drinks while you play it. You guys want to set it up? Uh, yeah. It's this dude that found out he was Haitian. Yeah. He's uh, he's had no money. What's he's his from rap name? Hattie Baby. Uh, Hattie, Hattie Baby. Hattie Baby. Hattie Baby. Haiti baby, is that you yeah, he was. Uh, no, I'm good. He was uh, from Oakland, and they were so broke they didn't have enough money to live in Oakland, so they moved to Stockton. And uh, here, it, you're it probably gonna have to play, fast forward that to the song about like. Nice to meet you. So long. What's up, God damn it, welcome. Listen, I used to live in Florida. Uh, I didn't know that there was um, Haitian people in California. Oh. Like a lot of yeah, Haitian Haitians and hip hop comes. So they go into a little his background that he's from Oakland and Stockton and Stockton. They got a mall in Stockton, not a whole lot more. So he wants to give back to the community and he's blowing up in the rap game. So I don't even remember when it starts. It's a little. It's a. There, all right, here you go. Throw throw that ten seconds back now. All right, here we go with the freestyle from Haiti Baby. And, uh, you know, I feel like uh see the shots right. before I can. show the world why, you, why you're moving out in Stockton. Representing Stay the 209. Hydrated. Yeah. Let's go, man. Show you that wolf. Come on. Woo. Show me the wolf, Woo. baby. 92.3 shot. Ah. Blue Light Cat. DJ Head. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. I woke up top to mountain like a dragon. I was feeling real high. Feeling like I'm off the alcohol, I know I'm feeling tipsy. I'm a fucking bitch, I just see it. I'm a little bit of cool. I'm a cut up in a dream, very cool. I'm a pull up with the book. Shh, quiet, and the head goes. Shh, 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 shh. And the rock and the bullets get hot, hot. I was thinking I 
on a motherfucking black black. I was thinking on a black selling crack crack. Okay. Hold on a minute. I'm, I'm just gonna pause it for a second. <laughs> as soon as you sent this to me, I'm like, Frankie's like, oh, that bop though. That, that bop. beat. <laughs> Give me some bop. That lean with a bop though. This reminds me of everything we listen to going to <laughs> in Frankie's oh, car. Oh no, this is. You want to go to the sky? I know you're feeling high. I'm so damn amazing. You thought I was fucking blazing? Ha 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 ha! I'm walking up, bitch. I'm a dragon. My pants tagging. I feel like Haitian, but Latin. But I'm in Latin. I might ride on my fucking cup. This shit is retarded. You know that I started. Shh, quiet, quiet, he, he, quiet, wait, quiet, quiet. Haiti, you have. He just said it. This shit is retarded. Yeah. That's all he had to say. Enough said. Now he. Now here he is talking and to himself. Yeah. You have to believe in your dreams, wise one. You are the chosen one. You are the champ, wise one. Do you hear me? Everyone will feel you. I'm gonna swallow the kids. Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the place. All over the room. Not on your bitch. All over the room. Pop the healing balloons. I the the mountain like the dragon. I was feeling That's real so high. bad. Rich bitch. Hey, man, she get crib dick. Crib dick. Like a real stick. Shit. Dude. Ha! Ha! I'm on fire. I don't need to rap them. Why can't you do my ad libs? Watch this. Rap it. Can I stop this, please? <laughs> Their faces. The faces, the faces of the dudes. Oh, God. The faces of the dudes. <laughs> is, is and then the one guy's like... I'm not even going to rap you? anymore. I'm just going to do ad-libs. Yeah. When, yeah. Did he, when was he rapping? When he was talking about Mike Tyson and Helium Blue. Mike Tyson. I swear that you are the chosen one. They will know. <laughs> this motherfucker has... So many follows and so many views, and he has a fucking rap album. I'm scared of the world we live in. How much are you putting down that he's not even Haitian? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he does 23 and me back, bro. That's he's, what he oh, said, I 1%. think. He say? Yeah, he said something about he got 23 and me back. I did 23 back. and me and found out I was Haitian. And so does that so mean you to, talk a, with a Haitian accent all of a sudden? Well, yeah, he yeah, was so they talking. Said he brought back his Haitian roots, and then they said, so you've been back? No, I ain't been back. <laughs> He ain't like, never been is, to Haiti. He ain't yeah, ever what does he mean? He's going to his Haitian roots. Right. That means when I rap, I'm going to talk in a Haitian accent. Yeah. I guess that's what Haitian rap sounds like. I just wasn't up on <sighs> Haitian rap. I don't even know. You are so good at that. <laughs> Dude, I'm not going to lie. How many times have you listened to that? <laughs> Fucking helium balloons. <laughs> a couple times. Well, because he showed everyone at work, so I he did, listened to I it. Gave it I was like, Dude, this is really. This is I listened life. to it once. <laughs> And the only redeeming thing is at the end where they're just like, yeah, I'm going to have to check out that I'm, album. I'm, gonna have I'm, to check I'm, it out. I'm intrigued by what's going on. The guys, I don't even know what happened in the studio. Like, <laughs> the guy's like, I don't know if that was a freestyle or a seance. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was an exorcism for sure. The fucking dude was. Well, that remind, that remind this guy oh, reminded fuck. me of when. Uh, I was, was 12 and I thought I was a rapper. Little When Lil Uzi was on the one and he's like. I ain't rapping over these old beats. Yeah, because you can't rap. Because you can't. Uh, you can't do it. I lost like all respect song. for him right there. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so Jeff played this song for his five-year-old daughter, and she was listening to it. and the whatever. Hot or trash. And, and he goes, Bez, is this hot or trash? And she's like, she's like listening to it, and she's like, um, I think it's hot. No, it's trash. <laughs> it's hot trash. She's five. <laughs> And she knows it's trash. And she knows that's trash. At first, like, she heard the beat and was like, ooh, because she likes music. And you know what I mean? Like, she'll, she, uh, I'm, I'm amazed at five years old. She could sing some f- full songs. Yeah, and she know knows all Wu-Tang, the lyrics. Wu-Tang is forever. Yeah. <laughs> she already knows. She's she five. She knows everybody. Wu-Tang is forever. Wu-Tang is forever. <laughs> Get it up. I was, I, I, she's, she's just a straight savage child. But I'm just saying, she'll sing some songs that she knows, like kid songs or that she watches on YouTube. And she sings it word for word. What really did she good. say today? Fucking hilarious. Well, she no, told you that I was straight savage. Daddy, oh, you know? so so we're watching that movie, um, fighting with the what's fighting it called? With my family. Fighting with my family, and uh, the true story of you'd know better than me. You want to kind of explain it? It's the. It's actually. 
There was. You good? No, he knows Go the on. part I'm about Go to on. say. Okay. Go ahead. So, it's based on a British TV show actually that followed the family of pro wrestlers. They're, they're called carny wrestlers over there, which means they're independent wrestlers. And the daughter is Paige in the WWE, so she has been in wrestling since she was like 13 years old. Some crazy. Right. Yeah. So they basically just did a mockumentary almost, or a documentary, or a as seen on TV kind of deal. Yeah. And based on your based typical on her, based on a true story. Based movie, on a true story know? movie. Yeah. I'm sure they embellished. I love. Oh, awesome they did a, a lot of it. Spoiler just, alert: The Rock. Dwayne Johnson becomes successful after wrestling. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't uh, tell you about that at the end. The Rock produced the fucking movie. <laughs> I know, but I just love six, that, that. Six Bucks Productions. That is a or great it's piece called. of storyline at the end that you get to find out about the true story. So there's the same. her brother Yes. Uh, runs like this wrestling school, and there's a bunch of kids in the program, and he's... He wants his dream, too, is to be in the WWE. Yes. Well, his sister gets in. He's kind of upset about it, and he ran this school to help other kids wrestle. And there was this one of the kids was blind. So now this guy's all pissed off because his sister made it into the WWE, and he's living his dream. He should have made it. He's been training it since he was fucking three years old. Mm -hmm. So he sees all the kids that usually jump in the van and go to wrestling practice. He drives right past them. Then there's a blind kid that he's training to be a wrestler. And he's in a park on a swing waiting for this guy in the van to come and pick him up. And he never comes. And my daughter gets up and goes, Are you going to leave the blind kid at the park? (laughs) (laughs) What? They're not even going to. He's blind. They're going to leave him at the park? Dude, she's just straight (laughs) conviction. She's like, you don't leave a blind kid at the park? I was dying. And that's when you know a movie hits your soul. Five. It does. She's five. <laughs> five. And she knows and you don't She leave knows a better. Blind. You don't leave a fucking blind kid at Where the was park. that kid's parents? I want to know. They're just like, all right, Johnny. I'm What's sure What's funny, funny is that up. later in the movie, when the guy finally realizes his, he was being a douche yeah. and he wants to start training these kids again, that blind kid was still sitting at the swing. <laughs> <laughs> He's still, still waiting. <laughs> Because he, he had a beard park. longer yeah. than mine. <laughs> oh, I just God. thought it was funny how observant she was about that. She like right so away, smart. she just we didn't say nothing. She just stood up and says, "He's gonna leave the blind kid at the park." You don't leave a blind kid at the park. <laughs> and she's looking at all of us, yeah, using like, her hands. Like, like no one notices this, guys. Like guys, you're on my side, right? <laughs> like you don't, mom, mom. Fucking five, man. Fucking five, bro. She is Savage. smart as a whip. Which I don't understand that saying. You want to explain that to me, anyone? Smart as a whip? Yeah. Whips are smart. All right. They s- there you go. PSA, whips are smart. Breaking some of them news. I don't. Some of them I understand, you know, because I've Googled them. <laughs> that one? <laughs> that Two one I haven't so Googled. Much. <laughs> Two birds stoned at once? <laughs> <laughs> Two birds stoned at once. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Two birds stoned at once. But no, I know, like, Saved uh, by the Bell. Because that's back in the day. They used to actually bury people alive. So they used to put a string in your casket. And if you rang your bell. And you would pull the string and it would ring a bell. And then they'd come unbury your ass (laughs) from your grave. Saved by the bell. But some of them, I don't, this one's on the arm. Means it's free. Yeah. This one's on the arm. Like how? Whose arm? My arm. There's a guy that would just hashtag or or tally the hash marks. No, not a pound sign. Hash hash marks on his forearm. Hey, bro, uh, I'm calling in your tab. Now I kind of piece of paper. Yeah, right here. It's on my arm. See? See? I'm gonna get a tattoo that says "free" on my arm, and I'm just gonna hold it up right there. It's on the arm. arm. This one's free. (laughs) If that works, that's gonna be great. (laughs) That might be the that might be the most clever tattoo of all time. Right. It's on the arm. (laughs) <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's free. <laughs> well, What's uh? It's my next tattoo. Um, rule of thumb. Ah, uh, you know what the rule of thumb is? Yeah, Boondock Saints. Saints. Boondock Saints, bro. Yeah, it's is anything. You could legally any stick bigger than your thumb was it illegal could, to hit your wife with. Yeah. Yep. So as long as it was it's, it's smaller, smaller than, than the size of, of your, your thumb, thumb, yeah. thumb, you could. Rule of thumb. Rule of thumb. There you Thank go. you, Boondock Saints. There you go. That. 
There you go. So if you, if the stick's bigger than your thumb, width wise, not much I can do with that. Don't hit. Dude, that's back when they were burning witches, bro. You can't do that shit no more. No, I don't think not in the so. Me Too movement. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, Me too. Sorry, I can't, right, I can't get over but it. But suicide, I, I kind of halfway looked up suicide doors. I don't think they're really called that. You know why they're called? They called them suicide doors because people got killed. They, right, they, because yeah, they got oncoming killed. traffic would clip the door and it would swing Shut. back at you, towards you instead of away Crush from you. you. Yeah. Yes. Bro. God, see, I'm telling you, bro. Informative. You're welcome, everyone. Damn, I, I feel like <laughs> I knew the name of them. It's something hinged. Hinged? I'm reverse reverse hinge. hinge? Yes, I think they are reverse hinge <laughs> doors. <laughs> How did you not know reverse? I'm trying to think of what I, the, the, the the actual the, the technical perf- term. The technical term. Yeah. yeah. And if you guys, something... if you guys want to go, we're talking about you know the corona yeah, and all this weird thing. crazy shit. If you want to go down a dark fucking alley, pass. Look up um, the meaning behind "Ring Around the Rosie." Yeah, that's dark <laughs> meaning. That is a sad, it's fucking sad song. crazy. Yes, it but is. it's so ring around. Everyone's so joyful. No, go ahead. And it just is explain it a little dark. Bit. The song "Ring Around the Rosie. Yeah, it's about a fucking disease. So yes, like there plague. was some th- yeah plague, and you would get a ring around the spot that was infected. Right, and the only way to get rid of that disease was to burn the bodies. Right, ashes, ashes. Dust, yeah, right. yeah. Then, so you would. Burn it. <laughs> it's dark. And then wasn't there some people that said like you keep. Uh, was it rose petals or, or uh, pocket, pocket full of posies? posies. posies. Yeah. Ro- was that which is a a flower? A flower that they that was supposed to help prevent it or something or keep you safe. I'm trying to remember the whole meaning. You might have looked it up more. Yeah, recently. but ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Right, it was saying that we all died from. It's so crazy. Uh, yeah, it's so. A dark, like, what's the coronavirus song gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> the helium balloons. <laughs> uh, I like how he rhymed I room with you. room. Yes, room with room is a good, clever rhyme. What is is that? That might be the worst uh, freestyle. No, know. you know what? I heard Little Yachty's freestyle. No, before. I heard. Remember back in the E bombs world, there was oh one that one dude. Oh that one dude. yeah, the one dude that was a, a a wee bit slow. That shouldn't have been rapping. It was some some kind of baby shower. Yeah, I don't think the dead dude was slow though, so he loses. No, he, he had the hand. He had the no. That guy wins because yeah. he did better because the Haiti. God, I wish I remembered how that freestyle went. It was it was bad. Great. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was, it was on. Great. It was on public access, and they had a. He, he kept yelling the n word. I <laughs> miss E Bomb's world. E Bomb's world was great for everything. A little squirt, dude. That's yeah, liquid gold. He's squirting out. There's like none left. What do you mean? I got. A thousand of these. I'm rich and single. Look at that. <laughs> Putting sanitizer on, killing all the germs around us right now. I'm just saying, I felt a little just dirty. Killing them all on your hand. Going. That's what the vodka's for. Vodka. Ooh. Vodka grenades. First thing for the vodka grenades, go to store and buy little shirt. little hugs. Go to store and buy the shirt. Ooh. Oh, speaking of, here, Look watch this. That shirt. Uh. Watch this shit down here. Hashtag pound sign. Hashtag pound sign. So if you want some cool merch, go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the gentleman's den. D hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. What's a hyphen? D dash gentleman's <laughs> dash den. Just go check it out. Guys. So that was me reading an ad. For our, for for our YouTube video watchers, we actually have it on the screen now. Look at that. For all you watchers. For that. all you watchers. <laughs> all six of you. Or 12 or 14. Lingers, whatever. Bro. I don't give a fuck. Dude, it's moving Lingers. up, bro. We're gaining traction. Dude, no, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. Canadian boys. Yeah. Go check out Jedi Monkey. Well, you gotta spell Guess it cool because it. everyone's gonna be like Jedi. J-E-D-I. Jedi. J-E-T-E-Y-E M-O-N-K-E-Y monkey Good job. jedi monkey i even spelt it so we're gonna be in vr later yeah with these guys that's a uh, virtual reality so yeah it's something it's pretty cool it's safer there's no corona there i've heard yet so that's kind of where i've been hanging out lately i think i did like uh eight hours last night on some firewall Damn, we saved the world gone. basically my just dream. preparing myself you know what i mean getting my uh so <laughs> <laughs> Getting my knee flexes on. Well, it's funny was the the, flex um, the, knees. the government flex shutdown. The everyone's knees. like, oh, they're quarantined their house, and it's like all the gamers. Like I've been prepared for this my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You, you know what's crazy though is like in in like 
worst case scenario shit like there's people like the, that go play paintball mm-hmm. they're on the list like at like four that get called drafted off because they have hand eye coordination and Ooh. firing like paintballers that, get drafted to what like if there was like a war or pandemic where they needed people. paintballers yeah they, they, is this true life I, i'm not bullshitting you this is just fantasy nope uh, hunters, I believe, are. Are we as caught well. a landslide? Right. No I feel like we from reality or what? Look it up. Google it. <laughs> he didn't catch what we were doing. No, we're singing the Queen lyrics. What's this? No, that's a bottle. Empty bottle. Uh, you just throw Corona. Oh my God! There's Corona everywhere now. You split. <laughs> See? So, Frankie, oh, please, everyone, be safe. That's Frankie, why I got hit. Oh shit! Have you seen this one yet? Run. Hold on, I've never heard this before. Touch it. Paintballers yeah. on the front of the line. Not the front line. They get called up. Operation bro. Dork. Oh, it's green. Uh, Look at the keys. Look at the keys. I get some so paintballers. Ah! Frankie, what does Y E S spell? I'm not doing this one. Oh no! I already know it. <laughs> what does Y E S spell? I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. Jeff, what does Y-E-S spell? Yes. What does E-Y-E-S spell? E-S. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that before. It's yeah. Izzy fucking it's funny. mongrel. Spell it is car. fucking hilarious. Spell race car. Oh, spell backwards. Spell backwards. Spell race level. Spell, spell level. Level? <laughs> then spell. Level. <laughs> 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 what the hell was <laughs> that? <laughs> Jeff was on a tangent earlier. He's <laughs> walking around. He's like, <laughs> oh God, are you okay? Is that the Corona? It was out? like a mix between ET and Jabba. 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 <laughs> Jabba ranks. Is that Shabba ranks? <laughs> no, we're not talking about fucking Shabba. Jabba. Jabba. Jabba the Hut. It was like a. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Huh? My lady's seen that face before. <laughs> <laughs> That's his vinegar strokes. Hey, remember? <laughs> uh, See, I'm just telling you ad libs. This whole podcast is turning into ad libs. I don't even need to talk anymore. Right. <laughs> Hashtag uh, butt dipping. By the when way, you get boys, a bucket this next is, uh, to your toilet, you just dip it. No dipping your butts like a chicken nugget. <laughs> Technically, this is our uh, 40th episode. <laughs> 40? Of the Gentleman's Day. We've been almost, doing this for 40 almost weeks. as old as you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more to go. No, it's crazy. 40 weeks. That's almost a year. Yeah, man. That is crazy. Well, I've hung plus, out with you guys every Saturday for 40 plus, weeks. what, four movie yeah. reviews? But the the den. There's, there's the, some the, content. The, the den. Has been, this is episode 40. So I feel like you were grabbing the dens. Congrats to you by guys. The, by the cajones. I just wanted to say congrats to both of you. Yeah, we we made it forty for episodes. For putting up with you. me for forty weeks, forty weeks in the garage. You guys in the den. But we do have a, a a new set coming eventually. A what? <laughs> We're gonna build a new set eventually. Well, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I kind of want to get a table and adjust this shit and put some shit in the background. Right now, we're kind of fucked. We're sitting at yeah. We got so much stuff. A bar in the den. Oh, we got stuff planned, dude. In 2020, after this bullshit virus Pandemic, blows right. over, <clears> we're, or, or we're going we, real big. Or when we have the two weeks off, we can bring tools over and yeah, start cutting right. and pacing and start building an ark. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you guys want to build? An ark? What? Oh, not an ark. All right. <laughs> I guess we'll do the garage stuff, but. Just the animals. Eventually, stuff. I want to build an ark. It's still All on my animals. bucket list. Why do you want to build a boat? You have a boat. I know. We might be selling the boat. So, Moses. You've been. <laughs> I talked to a guy this weekend. He no, like, you I, got the boat. Noah. I want to buy That was the old joke. What? Uh, Moa knows this. So, Noah didn't bring any people on that fucking thing. Just yeah. just animals. Yep. No, yeah. There was a bunch of people that like ran Who? last minute. There was no one. There was all animals, bro. Animals, bro. And depending on what story or what it was movie just you him. Watched, that's how the coronavirus started. It was just him. <laughs> him and I all mean, those if animals you're alone on a boat, <laughs> <laughs> lonely at sea. Something's I'm gonna Mr. get lonely. fucked. Well, that was. Oh, God. Did you ever see the? Uh, you, obviously, because you're not a Family Guy watcher, but there was a penguin and an elephant. And they had a baby on the boat. <laughs> see, <laughs> and it was a penguin with an elephant head. <laughs> And they're like, he, and fucker. he's like, did you name it? And they're like, yeah, that's Steve. Well, well that's going to suck because he's going overboard. <laughs> <laughs> no, Steve. Oh, God. There's going to be a whole lot of babies coming out. I heard the Simpsons predicted the 
Tom Hanks thing. Really? Sim- Simpsons predicting everything, bro. Yes, they are. That guy's like a he's time got, traveler. He's got a time traveler. Matt Groening's a tra- time traveler. Go ahead and check out the video of Simpsons Doritos? creator, time traveler. It's fucking crazy. Like the, all the parallels the, between the, the show Trump, and real life. The, the Trump thing. It's identical. It's so si- scary. Yeah, it's it's fucking nuts. scary. Predicted nine eleven with the on the uh, magazine when they were in New York. Yeah, I can't even yeah, think there's, of them all right now. There's a is lot. This, of them. Is this a real thing? I'm about to yeah. check this out. No, right yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, talks about how the creator is some kind of time, time traveler, traveler. Wow. some kind of witch or something. Warlock. <laughs> he would have been burned at the stake. See, yeah, you can't do that anymore. No. You can't. you can't be a witch anymore. You can't burn steaks. It's a sin. How dare you? Only bird of beef. Don't burn my steak. <laughs> Please, no. Mm. No. It's so crazy, the different places. We went to another place. I got a fucking eight-ounce steak, mm-hmm. and it looked huge. And then you go to another place, and you get a 10-ounce steak, yeah, it's, and it's like half the fucking size. Well, it, all depends, the on the cut of, it all depends on the cut of the meat, though, too. I always get a sirloin, usually. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Well, it, but with the sir, yeah. with the sirloin, there's yeah, two. Yeah, rich and single, Mr. <laughs> Filet, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Mignon. Yeah, he doesn't like he doesn't like steak with flavor. Because a, 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 a fillet, a fillet is the. If you tender. if you buy you buy a fillet just because you want to spend money on meat. No, it's if you not. want flavor, you buy a ribeye. Next in line is a sirloin. Fillet is. But why is the fillet so much? A fillet because the the fillet is the tenderloin cut of the beef. So the tenderloin is obviously the more the the most tender part. Say of it, the it's the yeah. best part. It's not the best part. It's the <laughs> most tender part. Well, it depends on what you're into. I would I would personally I I really enjoy sirloins and I feel like it's more bang for your buck. Yeah, you I also mean, like Salisbury are, steaks. So fillets good are good. I was forced to eat Salisbury steaks, <laughs> and they are good. And they are delicious. That's why I say get fucked. But I would rather have a a nice sirloin and get my money's worth than get. I mean, a fillet isn't that much better to where it's fifteen dollars. In all more. honesty, you mm. could take a, a raw, for half the meat. You could take a raw <laughs> piece of fillet yeah. and eat it, and it tastes just like a cooked piece of fillet. The flavor profile doesn't change. I like tender meat. I'm just saying. No, you just like whipping your dick out on the table and ordering fillets. It's good. Well, well actually, it is good. You, but you order how much the right better side of the is menu. it than a sirloin? You order the right side of the oh, menu wow. everywhere and you go, and then you're like, I'm hungry. When your fillet comes out, I'm just looking at your plate like, that's a bitch ass piece of meat right there. Mm. He's still gonna be hungry. No. Is that why you order all those no. appetizers? No, I'm never hungry after fillet. How that's dare fine. you? I'm, you guys like your other meat. I like a fillet. It's tender. It's, it's fine. Juicy. Yeah, there's no chunks Pound of fat. and rich and single. It. You know. Yeah, that's fine. That's your next T-shirt. I don't want. You wouldn't uh, even buy it. Cheap bastard. <laughs> yeah, still doesn't have a shirt for this. <laughs> I know, yeah, I support Venus support your own fucking channel. You here, here, we'll, we'll put it back up there for you. So you general, can, uh, there, Frankie, read what that your, says, and then order you get your small town infant, or you get your hat, or you can get your your pink. <laughs> Why are you taking a picture of it? It should be <laughs> fucking embedded in your memory. Yeah, backslash, by now. backslash, shop dot slash mash, mash this sign. Mash, 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 mash you right there for the best. Twenty-seven. Want to touch it? I'm putting it on a shirt. Want to touch know. it? I don't think you can. Can you? What? Want to touch I it? Want to touch it? <laughs> I have fuck a three-way. If I want to disappoint two other people, I'd go to dinner with my parents on a shirt True. on our side. Right. Oh, no. We also have basic Mitch on a shirt. Looks like a new shirt coming out. Want to touch it? See, I couldn't have a three-way because I only have one parent. <laughs> no, you can only. Uh, uh, yeah. wah, wah, that shirt depresses wah. me, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, wow. That chirp every time I see it, it just so, so makes does, me think of my father and so pisses does, me off. So does basic Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we we do have bear. We can talk a little bit about the Bears. They re-signed Danny Trevathan. Three years. Oh okay. yeah, twenty nine years old. Overpaid. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it. They overpaid. Yeah, they did. What they? What you know the contract details? I didn't hear them. Just get a Bears wide receiver jersey because they can't catch anything. Wow! Oh, then you won't get the virus. virus. <laughs> you won't sign. get the virus. Town sign stays hey, there. Hey, hey, hey. And so, Danny T, three years. What kind of money are we talking? Do you know, bro? It's like twenty-seven million or something. At least we have some sports to talk about. Yeah, it's something like that. There's no way he's pulling ninety year this late. We don't even have that. It's crazy. It's so sad. I'm so sad. Bruh. There's no sports. 
combine and the drafts. I gotta rewatch. I gotta rewatch the combine over and over again. <laughs> They're gonna. Still Why do, do you even watch the fucking underwear Olympics? It doesn't matter. I don't know. You see some crazy shit. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, like <clears throat> three hundred pound dudes, dudes falling over and their dick coming out of yeah. their pants. I'm just gonna say around. there is a corner coming out this year that will be the next Jalen Ramsey. Just so saying, he's gonna complain what team he's on until he gets traded. To the no, team I'm talking about his athleticism, the way that this guy could flip his hip. Honestly, I'll show you the video later of this dude flipping his hips, running down the sideline. It, what the it, fuck have you been it's watching? It's fucking mesmerizing. That's literally what everyone is saying too. Like it, it's it, so it. fluid and so smooth. This guy could fucking switch momentum and direction. I'm just saying, unbelievable. It, it is unbelievable how these athletes are is coming. Is he gonna out. be a top ten pick? Oh uh, God, you know with this draft. I'm, I, I don't know. There's, like, so many quarterbacks, I feel like, that are going to get taken. Quarterbacks? Quarterbacks. The Bears going to get one? I in the seventh them. round. Jeez. Hurts. Right? They're going to go, in the, they're gonna go in the seventh round and take the kid from Hawaii. Who is? The Bears. Bears. Hawaii. 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 And we got Hawaii. another. And we actually did get another draft pick. We got a fourth rounder, too. Yeah. Because the Hawaiian kid Hansen played Parker. in cold weather situations. Yeah, he's really good. Or has yeah. he been yeah, cause in the sun? Yeah, he's played at Hawaii, though. Wasn't that, like, the big thing with, like, California kids? They're always like, oh, you can't play in the weather. Right. Uh, well, well, Aaron Rodgers like, proved you wrong Well, I know, that. but I that, mean, that's one out of how many. Right. You know? Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, UCLA quarterbacks, or not UCLA, uh, USC quarterbacks. You could say UCLA. UCLA. I mean, we had one. Yeah, Cade McNown. He lasted <laughs> long. Cade McClown. Played a <sighs> whole game. He didn't get past the 50-yard line. Oh my god! I just want to see some big moves this year. There's so many big name free agents. Big moves. So I'm just pumped. For, for just bring football Sport. back. I'm I just a, want sports. I have a gut feeling Green Bay is going to sign Austin Hooper because they uh, cut Jimmy Graham. As soon as we'll ESPN we'll we'll Radio Walker. started talking baseball, I'm like, oh off. man, I'm out. Dude, I've been listening to ESPN off. all week and they haven't talked sports. It's all been about Corona. Well, it has to be. There's no sports going on. Oh. I mean, what are you going to talk about? Pro wrestling and UFC fighting in empty fucking arenas. I guess it's crazy. Mm. It blows my mind. Yeah, know. they're uh, doing Monday Night Raw from the Performance Center again. So there's it's like a 300 seat venue. Yeah, and they're gonna do the whole fucking over show. 250 empty? people. These guys empty? are empty. They're gonna fly everybody in on real cheap flights. <laughs> real cheap flights. Well, because cheap. Cheap Monday <laughs> Monday is uh, the 16th. 316, Steve Austin's oh, going to be in. Oh, oh my shit. God. Look at all that happened. You know what the day hey. after is? Look at the IRS. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, 17th. It's uh, St. Paddy's Day. Hey, yeah, so are we getting... Hey, 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 so are we getting, should be getting blasted tonight, but... Yeah. Well, since we're all going to be off work... There's some, I, uh, in all honesty, right? if I... If you might be. I might be. I mean... I, I we'll, we'll figure it out. I mean, I think we might work all week... And then Thursday we have a company luncheon. I think they might just be like, hey, yeah, might as well shut her down for two weeks, folks. I don't know. See, I'm so I'm torn. so conflicted about this. Because, okay, these kids, they shut the schools down in Wisconsin. I mean, I'm, I know they the did in Illinois, down, right? I don't know if it's yep. nationwide, but I know in Wisconsin they just shut the schools down. And at least till April 6th or something. So now these kids are going to be home. Now who's staying home with the kids? That's the thing I'm freaked out about because of the guys I work with. Have ki- some of them have kids. Right. Which ones are staying in the fuck? Well, home? plus two. Then how many people? Like you know, look at look at Milady. She's yeah. in the health field. Like she's taking care of these patients who are in nursing homes and mm-hmm. and you know who whoever or whatever else. And it's like okay, so now her kids are home. So now now is she going to have to she's going to have to stay home with the kids so you're taking health care workers yeah. out of the health care service mm-hmm. where people need them to be home with their kids so it's like fuck you can't just keep sending the kids you know, this i is, know but it's like fuck so then what everything's just shut down the scary you can't shut down a hospital is yep. the fact that all right so italy tried to be on top of it they had four confirmed cases in italy what Italy shut the fuck down. I know. He's so far from the mic. I can't hear him. Oh, sorry. Italy is so... <laughs> so they had four people in Italy that were confirmed. And Italy, like you said, shut the country down after four cases confirmed, thinking they were going to get ahead of it. And they had in two Conf- weeks, 4,000 people have 
confirmed cases in two weeks. A week after that, they tested again, and it went to 17,000. So what are we shutting down for? If you're saying it's it's moving at that rapid rate yeah. after they quarantine. Right. What do you, I mean, I, I already believe it's too late, honestly. They said that this is where if it's about to get this, worse. It's too late. It is. If you're I listening mean, to this. Two, well, two since weeks. you're off work, you can go ahead and catch up yeah. um, and yeah. check out on the, the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch, watch all our videos. Watch them on us, YouTube. Uh, subscribe and a thumbs up. Smash that like and subscribe button. Yeah. Thank you. Did we have one of those? Just think about me falling yeah. in the shower <laughs> and hit that like button. <laughs> we gotta get pictures like of this on our shirt. It's another. It's another it's it's like a turtle out of its shell. It's another like video a, we gotta shoot. Is you slipping in the shower? Like, could you imagine what a turtle looks like? Like, not in a shell. That's what I look like. <laughs> Just slithering down like a little fucking. <laughs> I imagine ET. Yeah, ET looks like a turtle without a shell. I'm just scared for humanity. Yeah. You know what's fucked up is, so The Walking Dead, everyone got mad at that show because it eventually wasn't even about the zombies anymore. It was was all about the people and their struggles and their arguments and their battles. Mm -hmm. This is proof that that's what it would be about. Yeah. The it's zombies would, wouldn't even be the worst part about it. It, it would, would be, be the, the other fucking humans. It's 100%. This is fucking it's, sick and scary, dude, the it, way people are reacting right now. It's, it's why they don't unreal. tell you about the aliens. It's unfucking real Listen. It really bothers me to my core. A hundred percent. It's sick. It's how sad. Much, it's uh, like the scary. toilet paper thing. How much fucking toilet paper do you... How long do you think you're going to be quarantined? Do it doesn't matter. They're not thinking about anybody else. But it I, doesn't uh, matter how much they need. Yeah, it's it's unreal. They could have a whole fucking spare bedroom full of right. toilet paper as long as they have it and you don't. Mm-hmm. That they don't have to worry about. That's the society Like the we same thing boys. with the fucking baby wipes. Like there's someone out there... I wasn't going to buy the baby wipes. They're not flush. I under- I know. I know. But, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. There's yeah. there's someone out there who doesn't have a child. But you bet who has ass. a bedroom, a spare bedroom, full of fucking baby wipes right now. And then there's a mother and a father just begging for one package of right. baby wipes for their kid. They got a baby with a diaper that just exploded up its back. But that guy who has a whole horde of it, he can get two flying fucks because he's right. covered. And that's what fucking sickens me. Yeah. Like I said, just I be a, kind to fucking each other. Jesus, man. It's it's not hard to be a good person. It really isn't. Like the old lady. The 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 fat lady's got a cart full of fucking toilet paper. The old lady's trying to grab one fucking package, and the lady's trying to rip it out of her arms. Right. And then she got mad when the lady fucking swung at her. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I would have swung at that fucking bitch. I'm like, give that bitch her fucking toilet paper. What's your problem? It just when you have something like this that goes on, it really shows people's true colors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and what their intentions truly are. And everybody's colors are fucking. But it shit. is hard. Like Bro. when you see these videos and you see these pictures of like toilet paper vanishing, then you're like, well, fuck. Then I need to get some. And then you well, know, that's everyone, what it is. And, it's the and then it becomes hysteria. right. Once you set that hysteria in motion, it's fucking over, dude. And people just start killing themselves and jumping over people and stomping old ladies just to get a fucking one roll. Right. And that's where it becomes, like you said, The Walking Dead. And now it's a serious problem. It's not just a show. It's not just, you know what I mean, like a a joke. It's real. What happens when they, they stop going to the stores and there is nothing on the shelves? Right. So what happens when three weeks go by and it didn't get better? It's worse. What happens when you don't have anything? Can you imagine, like, if ne- the satellites you, went out, you know? Right. And, like, we lost our TV cell phones. And cell phones. TV, like, power. Like, like what that's you, what, what scares do? me is, like, right. watching this, and then if something major actually happened. Well, what it would be like? There would people be shooting each other. Yes. Like, it would be stabbing each other. A killing worldwide. people in the streets. It'd be fucking insane. And right. that, that's what really scares me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. All I want to worry about is not slipping in the shower. Right. That's got to be your biggest worry. Not falling down the stairs. Right. I mean, it's fucking first world problems, right? Yeah. This is, yeah. I mean, people have had problems like this, though, in other countries for a long time. Long time, General. Well, yeah. How many countries don't use toilet paper? How many countries just wipe their ass with their hand? Right. That's why I didn't understand. Like, what was the whole thing about the toilet paper? And then some girl commented 
that <laughs> that I needed to educate myself. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I almost commented back, and I was like, "Nah, I'm just gonna be as bad as her." Yeah. So I just let it slide. I I can't. I can't if someone comes at me like that, like oh, you got to let it slide, I, bro. Because otherwise, sometimes you're just gonna do. And then you're What's just gonna worth? look at your phone and be like, "Better not come back," because then I'm gonna come back even harder. Why do, Why do I need to educate myself about toilet paper when? I was just asking a serious question because, like, the whole thing was, like, I understand the hand sanitizer and all yeah. this other shit, but I was, like, what's with the toilet paper? Like, there was still, like, a bunch of food, a bunch of bread, but it was, like, only the toilet paper. I was, yeah, like, all does the it give you the shits? Like, I, and then, yeah, you need to educate yourself. Like, and blah, blah, blah. Well, because, uh, like I said, Ooh, it, it comes okay, down I'm to sorry. that supply and demand of when really you sorry. can't go to the store anymore and you don't have any. And then what is it? What is it where's the line where someone says... I'm going to the house down the street. Right. I know they got a fucking I roof know that motherfucker. I the seen them with something. a truck. Right. And they had 36 bags. That's what's scary. I'm going. Someone will get so desperate that right. they'll fucking do it. Eventually. And then they'll say, motherfucker, give me some of that toilet paper. And right. someone's going to say, um, no, mm-hmm. it's I'm gonna tell fucking you right mine. Now, if it comes to violence over it. toilet paper, people have really lost their fucking mind. Dude, it already has. has. They're yes. punching each other. Well, well, I'm it's, talking about getting shot and shit. Just wash your ass in the fucking sink. Did you it's, not see Step Brothers when he wiped his ass with the so fucking there, mat? Thing, though, What's up too? with the bucket? I'm telling you, the dip bucket. There was one guy that something I think everyone's his kid doing did the chicken the strip toilet. this fucking weekend. Oh, it was a YouTuber put some fucking marbles or the some, Orbeez or Orbeez or something down a toilet. He blocked up the whole fucking neighborhood oh, yeah. and broke the piping for the city. Everyone's fucking toilets and shit backed up. Can you imagine all the people that got to remodel their homes? Because of the water damage right. from the sewage backup. That's why now, you have homeowners. Sorry, now, what happens sorry. when all these motherfuckers say, well... Yeah, but still, it's the incon- Yeah, you got insurance, but it's still the inconvenience. Yeah. Your home is yeah. fucked. You can't stay Hold on, there. But, but, all right, real quick. In this pandemic, when everyone's doing this and there's no toilet paper, so someone starts using paper towels... And then flushing and, that shit. And flushing it, and then the whole fucking neighborhood or a city or a town is plumbing is backed up, and there's millions of homes or thousands of homes that have shit in their bathroom and they can't use it well, and that, they got to stay in their home with that. That person and, needs to be shot in the face in front well, of Well, that's everybody. what I'm saying. That's what this is going to turn into. People don't see the big picture. You know how many people don't know that you can't put toilet paper or paper towels down your fucking toilet? Right. Well, it's going to happen. They're like, what do you mean I can't put pa- It's paper. Even most of those wet wipes like we were talking. Right. Those wet wipes and those some baby of them wipes, are some flushable. of them can't. Yeah, right. some of them aren't flushable. Exactly. And you know how many people are going to be getting rid of those and saying, I'm not going to throw it in the trash and throw it out? Like, it's it's very scary of like the, the the actions that today could cause for the future, and like you I, said, I just want to know how many people are just paper. shitting, just at home with just a mountain of toilet paper, just sitting in the toilet. Ha, ah, you sons of bitches! On some gold, I, just, golden fucking toilet, just eating fucking burritos it's and crazy, tacos man. and just the fucking constant <laughs> pooping. <laughs> Just, just be, yeah. Be respectful. I, try to love it's one hard. another. It yeah. is though, but there's a breaking point. Like there, there are people who are trying to be civil and trying to be this, but then when it's like people are shoving over other people, and then you need that for your family. It's hard to stay calm, calm, right. and stay humble, and, and, and stay. And it does happen in, in stages. Okay, so now let's say we close stuff down and everything's closed, right? But they say the. One pharmacy in town's got to stay open, right? Bruh. So now the one person's there working the pharmacy, and all these people need medicine still. There's thousands and thousands of people that need these prescriptions. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you got a kid here that has respiratory issues. What if he needed some respiratory medicine? Yeah. That was the only, th- you know what I'm saying? And you go to right. the pharmacy, and you can't get it because there's someone there that just robbed it. Exactly. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Up. Because they are like, well, God forbid if I need this. Or you know what I'm saying? It's it's you gonna be scary. And a lot of it is too is the just in case. Right. And that's the thing. People people like to have that you, security you and that insurance. That, that, that's like looking at you're looking at the fucking that finish line and not focusing on the well, fucking the do- race. Kudos to the jo- Dollar General down the street because they were only letting you get one, one package. Bag at a time. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You get one package. Dude, you could go to Best Bargains, get a case How for dare 29 you? bucks. I'm telling everyone where I supply is. $29, Best Bargains. Right. You live in the uh, Twin Links, Geno City, Southeast, and Wisconsin area. Go oh, get your shit tickets. Bargains. I'm gonna have now to they're going to be wiped out. Yeah, they are. Way to go. 
Well, Dude, we're not going to release this till tomorrow, there. so Frankie yeah, can you get up early. Get up early and get there <laughs> before the Go rush. Go pound on the door. Be like, damn, I didn't know all these people listen to the podcast. Damn. No, it's it it's a world ruled by stupidity. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's just it is scary. It is a real thing. This is something that we haven't experienced ever. Uh, I mean, the last you know something like this was a hundred years ago. Well, we had the. But let me let me tell I, you something mm, about it. Though. Let Frankie too. finish. He was he was. I get roll. it. I'm, I'm, I know what you guys are going to say. It's just the flu. There's more. It's just like that. It's just germs. Peaches, be safe, this and that. But this has spread at a faster rate than anything else. And Then the flu first started? Dude, more people have died from the flu. All I'm saying is, is that it's easy for... We have, I was, what I was going to say is we have the tumbler right there on the table. We got the tumbler. And one of the greatest lines from the Batman movie is, you always fear what you don't understand. Yeah, and this is a new thing. People never heard of it. It don't just came out of it. nowhere. They don't understand. They don't even and they're know. Fucking if, scared. If what's from China yes. and what's in Ireland and China. what's in Italy, I'm gonna that pour they're some shutting more shots shit down. This. What do we have, bro? What? Yeah, it's that's time. that's what's scary. Well, it doesn't have to be time, dude. We can do this. We could do three hours of bullshit. I'm yeah, just saying, no one bro. Wants to listen to us jabber for three hours. I don't think you guys want to hear about more shower sex. No. No. <laughs> 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 How did Jeff die? He fell in the shower and impaled himself on the knob. No insurance. <laughs> no He's insurance. got no insurance. So I'm saying, now look at if you were falling in the shower trying to have sour, sour, shower sex shoulder, and hurt your back, shoulder, shoulder and you hurt your shoulder <laughs> in, the sure. in the shower having sour, uh, shower sex. I can't say. <laughs> Apparently, okay. So you, you it's some with the S and the H. Sh- Shower, shoulder, shoulder, shower, sex, shoulder. sex, sex, sex. So I hurt my, where did I hurt my, okay. oh, so I, what is it? Oh. I, I forgot. Oh, hold, hold on, let him come quick. <laughs> I, f- I forgot, let, let, I'll let you finish your shower sex. Boom. Okay, what about it? Don't forget, say it. No, I know, I already have it. He's got it, bro, okay. it's locked like in. An elephant. Locked I don't know, you don't have insurance. You can't go. I do have insurance If you now. fell in the shower I just signed up, bro. Okay. And you want to use your new insurance because you had shower sex and got hurt. Because like, like, when do we have sex in the shower again? I'm oh my like, God. my insurance is like, it's going through. Or All right, right, so now you got it, right? Close. But you got to go now and see your, your take care of your injured <laughs> shoulder <laughs> from the shower sex. It's and not covered. Well, you got to go there with all these corona people? <laughs> huh? It's not covered. That's yeah, why he puts a mask on. Sex and injuries aren't covered under your they're insurance. Gonna, they're going to just tell you, sir, you're going to need to go home. This is for... Uh, this is Karana. The C-19 only? COVID. What is it? COVID-19? Yeah. Carnivore? Carnivore diet. What so, were you going to say, Sean? Want to touch it? They brought back... No one wants to touch it, dude. During, right. Especially now. No one wants to touch it. Yeah, you know what they want to touch? They want, you, if you had a suit full of sanitizer that you were sitting in, maybe. Jesus. You, had, you had a good line. So, do you remember do the... you know it? Remember the Kool-Aid, the plastic juice box thing? Or the plastic bottles? Plastic the, the, bottles. The, the juice, the juices where you crack the top, the plastic tops off. The grenades? No, no, no. They were like Kool Aid made them, and there was the company called Mondo, that had the Mondo juice. They're back. I Mondo's bought, back. I bought a six pack for eighty eight oh, cents. Dunkaroos are back. Guess too. what? It tastes the same. <laughs> yeah. And it sucked back then. And it sucks, it sucks now. now. <laughs> yeah. I never liked those grenades. Even I thought those no, tasted like straight trash. The only reason why you drink the, the jugs, grenades is the, the hugs. The hugs. <sighs> Is to add sugar vodka water. to them. <laughs> sugar water purple. What's the line? You said it. When did I say it? I, I thought you were there. You were talking about how all these motherfuckers, they got taken out of the toilet paper, the, the fucking cleaning aisles, the toilet paper aisles, completely trashed. Oh, Everyone's yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the toilet paper is empty. The hand sanitizer aisle is empty. The condom aisle is filled to the gills. A lot of dirty motherfuckers, dirty motherfuckers out, there. out there, bro. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, you know That's you're gonna be locked to up there having a whole lot of sex with some strangers. Be so like I'm gonna fuck you with shoot. these the, these gloves on and this face mask, but I ain't gonna wrap it up. I'm That's a new. Out, you can look it up on Pornhub. Coronavirus porn already. How oh, dare Stop. It, it already has come out. I heard that they it was on ESPN. They said for Italy, the entire country. Oh yeah, Pornhub gave them premium for free. Really? What is premium? I want to know too. They were asking. They're like, no one knows. You guys know? No ads, bro. <laughs> no ads. There's ads on Pornhub. Do you ever? Do you ever watch a? You've watched porn, right? On Pornhub. 
You know, it's like yeah. sometimes the videos like skip scenes and shit. Yeah. Oh, you get the full. The, you get full scene. I don't know why you need a forty-minute video. Yeah, I don't I just need a story. <laughs> I don't need to know a story. It's like watch. I don't want to watch. This I story. love when I'm about to jerk off, and then like right before the end, it like goes to black and it says to see the full video, go to blah 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 dot com. I already like, finished. No, I'm just gonna to rewind to this three-minute <laughs> video and go again. <laughs> Because I guarantee I'm going to finish before I, I, this I, three minutes is I'm up. In. Stop I'm trying in. to pat yourself on the back. You did not met late last three minutes. Dude, you warm up before you look. Why well, skim through? <laughs> what do you mean this guy walks around hard? <laughs> That's what I said. What you you warm up before you look. Yeah, you skim. The first like minute is her introducing herself. I guess herself. I've been doing porn yeah. She's like, hey, I live down the street. Have you seen my puppy? He's <laughs> like, no, but I got something else. And then Hopping she walks. Van. Yeah, and then she gets in the van, and then she starts taking her clothes off. And, and they're in the bang bus. And pretty soon, you're already two and a half minutes in, so you only get 30 seconds of fucking. What? See? <laughs> I, feel like I went on Pornhub, and it's nothing like that. Yeah, but you can watch the full video. No, see, I got the <laughs> Jesus, stay away so, from me. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Italy with their fucking. Shout out to Italy, Pornhub Premium. I hope there's not a whole lot of her. jerking off. I hope it's we're going to be in like, VR tonight with the watching. Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with that being said, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks for listening, and come on back next week for another fun-filled episode of the Gentleman's Den. Stay safe. Thanks. Don't be a dick. And don't forget to stop at shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all your gentleman's den merch needs. (sighs) We'll see you next week. Love you. Like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Share your toilet paper.